Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is April 14th, 2020, Tuesday. Um, it is 4.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Rochester, New York, in the United States. And this is just a quick check-in during this coronavirus problem. And I also wanted to talk about Alexand Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, also known as AOC. Um, I personally am doing okay. I just had a telephone conference with my medical provider, not my psychiatrist, but my primary care. Um, in this case, that's a um, nurse practitioner who handles most of my medical issues. And we really didn't have much to discuss. Physically, I'm fine. Um, mentally, I think I'm okay, all things considered. A little bit paranoid, sometimes thinking people are following me. Um, I know intellectually that's not true, but it's a very strong feeling. Um, sometimes my paranoia gets the best of me. Um, not that I become violent or suicidal, but just really suspicious of other people, thinking my neighbors are laughing at me through the walls or thinking people are following me or watching me when I go to the store. Um, that's par for the course for me. It's pretty routine for me to feel that way. I've gotten used to it. As long as I don't act on the paranoia in some way, I just cope the best of the way I can. But other than that, I'm doing fine. Um, there are no physical issues really to discuss with them, the nurse practitioner. Um, and uh, we're doing telephone visits. And I did one with my psychiatrist last week. As long as this uh, shutdown continues for the coronavirus, um, COVID-19, a lot of my appointments are going to be over the phone. Um, and I don't feel like when I get sick that I want to go to the emergency room. I haven't been sick since this whole uh, coronavirus thing began. Um, I avoid even going to the psychiatric emergency room because it, to me it would be chaos there. It's chaos in the psychiatric emergency room as it is, um, but they're undergoing construction. They're sticking people in this very narrow, crowded hallway, waiting to see the psychiatrist, which can do 12 to 24 hours. So you're sleeping in a chair or on a couch because there are no beds, and you're waiting for hours just to see a psychiatrist and find out if you're going to be released or put into the hospital. So that's fucking chaos. So when I feel like shit mentally, Unless I'm suicidal in the real sense, or unless I'm potentially violent, I'm not going to the psychiatric emergency room. It's a waste of time. It's a good way to catch disease because the emergency room, both the medical and the psychiatric, are always crowded. People are sick. They have infections of one kind or another, including the coronavirus. So I'm going to avoid going to the psychiatric emergency department at all costs. Um, but anyways, I wanted to talk to you about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Before I say anything else, she is an educated person of color. I acknowledge that. She graduated with honors from her college, her university. I believe it was in business and economics. And she was the youngest woman ever to serve, or is the youngest woman ever to serve in the U.S. Congress. So I don't deny that she's achieved a lot. She's very smart. She is an incredible person for getting into Congress at the age of 29. Um, having been a bartender and a waitress before that, getting into Congress is a big deal. The problem is she serves in a Congress for a country she hates. She's not a Democrat. She's not a Democratic Socialist like she claims. She's a Marxist and a Communist. And she wants to destroy this country through communist Marxist ideals. And um, I find her disgusting. I find her offensive. Um, all her achievements mean nothing when she uses those achievements to hate the United States of America, despise the Constitution. She wants to destroy the state of Israel, one of our closest allies. She's an anti-Semite and the Marxist, and uh, I find her disgusting. There's not much more to say about her than other than that. So 
that's all I have to say for this visit. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't ask for money to do these videos because I don't need to ask for money to do these videos. But if you want to help me, I'll just uh, share my videos um, on social media or even download it and pass it around. Um, the trademark uh, status for my videos is Creative Commons, which means I don't claim any copyright to my own videos. Um, I basically put them in the public domain so you can use them, portions of them, any way you want to use. So, also, if you want notifications when I have, make a new video, make sure you press the notification bell because even if you are subscribed, you might not otherwise get announcements that I put out a new video. So, share, like, comment, subscribe, and um, that's about it for now.